Hey YouTube, this is Crave Collector 01 back today for another video review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the special size Gargantus. Um, this was a Japanese only exclusive figure. We never got this figure. Um, this is specifically made to be in scale with the smaller AVs that was released with the Battle Beetle Battle Base. So if you ever wondered why the why the Beetle Battle Base didn't accommodate the Deluxe AVs when Gargantus was a Deluxe and the AVs were a Deluxe. Um, this is why, because they had their own exclusive Gargantus um, that we never got that is in scale with those AVs. So um, this is the box. If you're looking for this guy specifically, sometimes it can be kind of hard because they look about the same. Look for the one with the box with the 280. The, two, the Deluxe, I think, is... 320 or something like that it's on the front and it's yellow this one specifically is the 280 with the green um, so my box is kind of thrashed the shipping kind of destroyed it um, but i think i can fix it with some styrofoam and take the insert out and fill it out and use a little bit of tape and make it look somewhat presentable um, here you see um I'm not sure what that says, but it looks like it says, you know, exclusively for the Beetle Battle Base AVs. Um, so, yeah, we'll get this out of the way. Now, this figure doesn't um, have the walking feature of the Deluxe. It's more just a basic figure. But it does have some very nice detailing on it. Uh, you get the chrome on the knees, um, and it has it sports some features that honestly I kind of like over the deluxe. It's got a lot of chrome all over it. Um, the underside's a little plain. These legs just plug on; they're all separate pieces. One thing he does come with is he comes with a separate sled with some caster wheels. And what you do is you just take it. There's a couple holes here. You just plug it in and then he sits just high enough that he can just sort of coast along if you want um, i like that it's a separate piece because i can just take it off and have him like that and i don't have to worry about him rolling off the shelf or anything uh, but pretty cool it still um, features all the main features of the deluxe the front piece comes off you have the flip down landing gear with caster wheels. And the jet is very nice because it's completely chrome. It's got a bit of sticker detailing here for thrusters in the back. This is one of the features here that I wish carried over to the Deluxe model. On the Deluxe, it just has a singular clip that holds this entire piece in place. This actually slots on um, the entire back half of this right here and i feel like that's such a a better more secure connection than what the deluxe got and i wish they'd have kept that from the basic figure over to the deluxe because i like that just so much better it feels so much more secure um, this um, does not feature opening cockpits um, they are just molded it is a more basic version of the deluxe so, we'll just put that back on there. Um, well, actually, we'll take it off, and I'll give you guys a look at the top. As you can see, uh, gold chrome, chrome all the way around. No opening cockpit. Um, so, there's that. Just put that back on. One other thing that it features is when you open up the back for the combined mode, is it has a fully stickered like landing dock on this Gargantus where if you have the deluxe, you'll know it's just solid black. There's no, there's molded detailing there, but you can't really see it. I much prefer this light gray with that actual sticker. I feel like that goes a long way to make this look more like a mech. Um, so the only thing left to do is we get our little AVs from our Beetle Battle Base. And we plug them on. And actually, the way these um, are held on, 
it's actually quite a bit more secure than how the deluxes form. There's actually um, molded divots in there for the wheels of Blue Stinger. Then we take our red here and she just sits right there. She's um, got the weakest connection. Um, she she fits just fine. Um, kind of like the deluxe. It's the weakest, the weakest connection. So this is it fully combined. So pretty nice all in all. If, um, if you can get one at a good price, I would recommend picking it up. I think this one costed me... Uh, I think it was... It was either 35 or 40. It, it wasn't very high. Um, it just took a while to, to actually find one. Um, so we'll bring in the Deluxe Combined Gargantus along with the Mini Gargantus here so you guys get a sense of scale. I'd say he's roughly about half the size, uh, give or take. They look pretty cool together. I honestly kind of think this one looks a little bit better just because of all the chrome on it. Um, compared to the Deluxe. The Deluxe just has regular plastic, but these are all like chromed out. And I feel like it looks like pretty nice actually all together. Um, but if you only wanted like one representation of Gargantus in your collection, like I I could completely see somebody going for this option and the Beetle Battle Base with the smaller ones just as a, a more unified set. And I feel like that would be fully justified as compared to some of the exorbitant prices that the Deluxe can cost you. Like, if you don't care about the walking feature in the Deluxe and you just want a representation of Gargantus and the, the AVs, I mean, this is perfectly good. There's nothing wrong with this at all. And I even like some of the features on this uh, simplified version better than the Deluxe model. So, but... Yeah, if you guys see one um, out there at a good price, I'd definitely say pick it up. I really like it. I like having both sets for my collection. Um, but I guess that's part of being a collector. But if I could, if I was only going to get one um, and you wanted to go this route, um, I would say go for it. it. It's fantastic just on itself. And I believe at the time of this recording... This is the only video for this figure on YouTube. I can't find another video on the special size Gargantus. I seen one video where somebody had it in the background. They were showing kind of like a Beetleborg collection. It was in the it was in the background with the deluxes, but they didn't specifically do a video review on it. So as of the time of this recording, this might actually be the only review for this figure on YouTube. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Um, if it kind of feels like we, we treaded the same ground, um, we kind of did. It, it is technically a different figure. Um, but I more or less wanted to make this review for documentation on this figure because there's literally nothing online about the special size Gargantus. And um, it's a shame because it's a beautiful figure. Compared to the Deluxe, uh, it looks fantastic. For a basic figure, um, I think it's awesome. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and this look at um, something a little special. You know, you don't you don't see these a whole lot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. This is Crave Collector One with Mini Gargantus signing out.